Hey guys, Cha Chan here, and today's video is a speed paint, but before that I'd like to show you something that's made me really happy, even though I'm trapped in the home, in lockdown, you know. <laughs> but anyway, something that's made me super happy in this pretty sad time. <laughs> Look at this. Whoa, heavy. <laughs> Behold, my son. This plush, I have wanted this plush for over 10 years and he is finally here! <laughs> I really lucked out, I found this one on eBay with tag, look, look at this little tag! <laughs> I looked out, I found him on eBay and I paid £15 for him, he is so perfect, I love him! <laughs> sure he needs a little bit of care to make him like brand new again <laughs> He's got a couple of stains here and there, his whiskers have come apart, but, but you know, this plush is almost, no, it, it is 20 years old, this plush is like an old boy. <laughs> so for a 20 year old plush, he's in pretty good shape with tag. I mean, the tag's a little damaged, but you know, what are you gonna do? <laughs> but yeah, this Meowth plushie has brought me a lot of joy during this uh, time. <laughs> So uh, feel free to share down in the comments what's making you happy during lockdown and uh, <laughs> let's get on with the video because I cannot breathe in this suit. Oh, never line your mouth with, never line your mouth with minky. Suit makers take note. <laughs> I built this suit. I made some bad choices. Okay, let's get out of the cotton plot before I pass out. <laughs> Bye! So as you saw, I was suffocating in my first suit there. <laughs> and yeah, the cotton flop's mouth is lined with minky, which does mean that the airflow is extremely restricted compared to what it would have been if I'd used lycra. Believe me, cotton flop has more than enough space within the mouth to be able to breathe. The roof of the mouth is hollowed out, so there's tons of space in there. The tongue does take up quite a bit of space in the mouth as well, but uh, Minky is the main reason that it's difficult to breathe. If you are making a fursuit or are commissioning a fursuit, I highly recommend you ask for Lycra to be in the mouth as the mouth lining rather than Minky. Minky does look good, but it is horrendous to breathe in. I will say though, when I'm walking around a convention, I'm fine when I'm wearing the fursuit. I don't get too out of breath. I mean, obviously I do a bit because, you know, it's a big giant animal head on your face and restricted everything, you know? But compared to what it would be with sitting in front of a camera, it's... I get more out of breath when I'm talking to a camera, basically. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's Cotton Flop. I hope to have a video about Cotton Flop soon and tell you how she was constructed and everything. Um, also, I'll compare her to Munchkin as well, my first suit. Cottonflop is my second fursuit, and honestly, ten times better than Munchkin. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, I got a huge Meowth plushie, and I love it. I love it so, so much. As I said, I've wanted it for over ten years at this point, and I finally own it. I'm so lucky I found one with tag as well. To be honest, I'm not too bothered if things have tag or not, but it was like a nice little add-on thing to it and especially since the seller offered a special discount like it was almost 50% off so I was like hee hee I'm going to buy it now <laughs> so yes I love it if you didn't know I used to collect Pokemon toys a lot like I still do but not as much as I used to I used to be so into collecting it and now I've been kind of getting back into it which is fun and all, but it's not good for my wallet or the amount of space that I have, so I have to restrict myself. I know I just bought a gigantic Meowth plushie, but um, we'll ignore that. I have wanted that plush for over 10 years, as I said. I saw it when I was a child. It was a school mufti day slash toy day combined into one, and most people bought their DS's in. I also bought my DS in but one of my classmates bought in his giant Meowth plushie and I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. And so, 10 years later, I managed to buy one because I'm an adult and I can spend my money how I want. <laughs> okay, so with that out of the way, <laughs> let's talk about this artwork because that's probably why you're here. 
So this art is a commission from my friend Yarim and he basically said to me, please draw my sauna with a bunch of punk goth accessories. And so I sketched this. Actually, I sketched one before this as well. I did a traditional sketch, which had all the design elements of this sketch in it, but he was just kind of stood there holding the baseball bat and it was an okay sketch. It just wasn't very dynamic. So I sketched this one instead and I really prefer this and Yaren preferred this as well. So we went with this one and I love how this turned out and I really enjoyed drawing it as well. It was such a refreshing thing for me to draw. Recently I've been having a bit of like a art block thing going on. Not really art block as such, just I haven't felt very motivated recently. If you don't know, I work from my living room and it's becoming a bit difficult for me. I feel very burnt out while I'm working here. It's just kind of not a very good workspace. The setup isn't very good. All of my art supplies are in a big corner and um, did I say a big corner? I mean a little corner. It's, it's in the corner of the room and I sit in an armchair. It's comfortable, but it's not a proper work setting, you know, and my laptop's just on a little table in front of me and it's fine if I'm doing digital work, but when I'm doing traditional, I just don't really have space to set my supplies out in front of me. So hopefully within the next few weeks or months, hopefully weeks instead of months, but um, I should be moved up into the back bedroom, which is becoming my work area and um, yeah, I'm really excited. I really want to have my own space to be able to work because working from the living room, aside from it being very not convenient, it also means that my family's in and out of here and we're watching TV on the night or having dinner in here and it's it's not very good for working like a proper work schedule, you know? So when I move into that back bedroom, I'm hoping I'll feel more motivated and it's not some other problem that I think is what it is. I don't know. Anyway, lockdown's given me lots of time to sort things out and organize things, get rid of things I don't need anymore. And that room is looking so much better. It's almost ready for me to move my art stuff up there. I could probably do it today if I really wanted to, but I have to get this video sorted. So yeah, <laughs> I'm filming this, or I'm recording this on the day that it's meant to go up. This artwork has been finished for like a week or so now, so the art was done. Oh yeah, last week I said this was meant to be a toy video and I gotta explain why it's not. It's because of a couple of reasons. I hit a kind of editor's block. I just didn't like how I was editing it. And also I was meant to do the photo shoot outside where I've got like plants and stuff and it's all whimsical. But unfortunately the weather has been grey and dull, not sunny like I wanted the photo shoot to be. So I've kind of procrastinated on getting that photo shoot done until the weather improves. Hopefully next week should be the toy video. In fact it will be, I will make it be the toy video. But um, for now, please enjoy this artwork. What was I saying? Maybe I should tell you what this artwork is. I think I already said it's a commission from my friend Yarim. And I spent about five hours on this and I loved drawing this. It was so fun. Yeah, I already said that. <laughs> Sorry, I've been trying to record this voiceover for like two days now and nothing, I didn't like anything about what I was saying in it or how I was coming across. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm very jumbled up in my mind. And I think this whole work schedule thing, I've been out of my routine, I've been going to bed late, hasn't been good. Anyway, I loved drawing all these metal details. I loved it. I even had a real life reference of the spiky necklace. I own one myself, not to wear. I put it on one of my plushies. It's a 12 inch raven plush and it fits him quite well. And it's so cute. So I had him sat in front of me while I was drawing this to see how the light kind of reflected off it. Obviously it's stylized in this drawing. I'm not gonna have it photorealistic combined with the very cartooniness. I mean, I'm sure that could work if you did it right, but for me personally, I'm not a photorealistic artist, so yeah. <laughs> I also used the airbrush quite a bit in this drawing, just to do like shading things or highlighty things. 
and I think it looks really good. I'd like to experiment more with this, it adds another dimension to the drawing I think. So uh, maybe I should tell you about what's been going on in England with this whole uh, lockdown thing. <laughs> As I said at the beginning of this video, we are in lockdown and it's kind of sad, you know? I can't go and see friends or family, not that I usually go outside anyway. <laughs> I haven't been able to see my boyfriend in, well it's week two now, so um, yeah I miss him a lot. <laughs> Obviously we're talking every day but yeah it's still difficult, you know? You miss people and you can't go and see them in real life, you have to talk to them online. I mean, I know with some people, like international friends that you might have, you only see them online, but that's different, you know? I don't know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> so if you are curious what the rules are in England, we are allowed out for exercise once a day, uh, but only within two kilometers, or is it miles? I think it's two miles of our own home, so that's a little radius. Uh, what else? We can go outside if we are doing essential travel, such as buying food or going to work, but your job must be an essential job. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Or well, medical treatment if you need to go and get medicine or whatever. Those are about the only reasons, I think. I'm sure there's some more, but I, I don't know. And me and my family have been watching the news like it's some kind of TV program we're waiting for the next thing to come out. Uh, I have a strong feeling that lockdown will be extended, so that's kind of sad, but I do understand why it has to happen. So um, yeah, I wish they'd put us into lockdown sooner to be honest, it would have stopped us having lots of deaths and all of that. Yeah. Speaking of deaths, <laughs> okay that maybe wasn't the best transition, but I did forget to mention that this drawing has blood in it. And you probably saw from the thumbnail, even though I do blur it out. Um, yeah, I did the eyes and the blood the same colour. So the eyes are like a reddish pink, and then the blood is the same shade. And I didn't do any shading or highlights on the blood, I thought it would look good as just a 2D thing, very stylized. Uh, I've done the same kind of thing on a recent speed paint of Poppy the Performer, Poppy the Clown. Yeah, that was a while ago actually. <laughs> the drawing is almost finished, I've done pretty much all the shading. I really liked how I did the highlights on the jacket with the gradients going down. I thought that was interesting and something I hadn't tried before. Then I did a little bit of line art colouring here and there. I just thought that would maybe soften it up a bit instead of it being all black lines. Which I think this piece would have been fine if it was all black lines but I thought they would add a bit more interest. <laughs> so, we are almost at the end of the video. Uh, what can I say to fill in this last couple of minutes? I guess I could say my commissions are open, since this is obviously a commission. So feel free to message me on Instagram or Twitter as your best bet for contacting me quickly. Uh, feel free to message, message me there to get some information or to ask for a quote or whatever. And um, what else? I've got some projects planned soon, such as making another fursuit to have for sale. It will be made with whatever materials I currently have available though, since the lockdown makes it kind of difficult to get certain things. So it's going to be a probably blue, white and maybe a bit of pink going on, or maybe some green. I don't know. I've just got to jumble it together from what I've got available. <laughs> I also have a fursuit tail available for sale right now, so please contact me if you are interested in it. It's listed on my Instagram, so please go and have a look. As well as a bat plushie. I still have a bat plushie available if anyone's interested. I can still ship things out during this lockdown as it is my business and we are allowed to go to the post office. Okay, I think I filled in my last couple of minutes. Well, hey, so this is the finished artwork. I hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble and watch me create this. I didn't film the background because I just didn't think I needed to. No, I, I did film the background. Anyway, <laughs> so you can tell I wasn't really watching and paying attention. Okay, we're almost out of time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you in the next one. And bye!